and Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about Clicky course and how easy it is to create a video course I'm also going to show you a couple other platforms that I've tried to uh, create courses on now anything obviously takes time to learn so once you learn it maybe you find it it's easy to do but um, when I first go on those platforms I'm like where does this go what is this and I'm going to actually kind of show you what I'm talking about and I'm going to show you the difference with Clicky course how simple it is to create a video course the basics and we're going to cover maybe also that you can make it complicated if you want there's options in uh, clicky course to do that so we're going to do that we're going to show you how easy it is why you should be using a clicky course platform and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so a few days ago I talked about the top five reasons why you should be using Clicky Course as a platform to host your courses and this is reason number two yesterday was it's easy to create an account for your students for yourself it's a free account and that's just it's very simple you just click a few buttons and that's it right now to be honest that's probably the same on most platforms especially the ones that don't charge anything but most lots of the platforms actually charge something if you want to host a course with clicky course at least you can do that for free today we're also going to talk about the reason number two which is that it's easier to create a course on the platform and I'm going to show you what I mean by that and why I find other platforms more complicated to uh, do that so before we get into that I want to make sure if you're listening to the audio of this go and check out the video at cis335.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post so let's get right to it I'm going to go and share this my screen and show you what I'm talking about all right so first when you go to clicky course you're going to see this uh, page uh and you got to register an account all you got to do there's going to be a login and register actually let's uh open an incognito window here and let's just go to clicky course so you can see what it looks like so clickycourse.com when you first go there you're going to have this page like this and it's going to be a uh, incognito window now I'm just going to go on Facebook here and I'm going to log in as a one of my debugging debugging accounts um, so we're going to use that in the clicky course to show you how to register an account first so I'm just going to log in as uh is it Frank I think it's Frank I got on there no it's not Frank so Frank maybe the password was wrong maybe it's this password that's not it either let's try let's try Bob I know I have an account to a couple accounts on here that I created to test things out I thought it was Frank but maybe it's Bob is it Bob hmm okay so I guess Frank doesn't exist and Bob I had the wrong password there you go there we go okay so now we're logged in as a Bob which is a, f a fake account remember yes sure why not and of course I'm going to see stuff that because I'm I'm Bob I only liked a few of, uh, of my pages and my stuff so that's why I'm seeing my things here in the feed okay so now when I go here I want to register I click on register and then I just say continue as Bob it's going to load the little button there it's going to say it's going to say right here continue with Facebook I'm going to click on this and registration successful and now I reload the page and now I'm registered as Bob right so there's no um if I go to profile picture I can see right here that uh, I'm Bob at fxos.com so my name is Bob webinar I don't know what I guess there's no is there no profile picture on here well I guess not Bob doesn't have a profile picture okay so that's um so that that's how you register an account this is as simple as it. now when you want to create a course it's as simple as clicking on this plus thing right here this plus little uh, button and then clicking on course and then you have that's interesting I didn't realize oh, okay page and group are there I gotta 
uh, fix that okay so um so you create a course you give it a title I'm going to call this is syndication method and it's going to be basically I give it a summary so the, this is like when I when I look on the site these are going to show up if I let me just kind of show you if I go back to here I just want to show you what it looks like when we look at any of these courses right they have a title that's the title right here and then if I go to one of these let's say I go to this course there is also a summary which is what we see right whoops which is what we see right here and then down here is the details now you can put whatever you want in here and the layout can be changed as well but the default layout is like this right you got a cover image you got the price um you got the ability to apply coupons you got you got the uh, the commission if you become an affiliate who this course was created by which would be you when, when when you create your course and then the lessons then you have the option of setting some of these lessons as available to watch for free even if they didn't buy it and then any of the ones that aren't you're not going to be able to watch them if you click on it it'll just load it up and say that this is not uh, well it'll just go to the buy page right so that's kind of how the default courses look and this is what we're doing here we're creating a syndication I'm going to say this is learn how to syndicate your content everywhere you want to be right so uh, I'll show you how you can use the syndication engine engine to create all the content you want different assets different assets for different platforms platforms by just clicking a button actually I'm going to say by just uh, recording a video video and clicking a button with one video you can have the engine generate um anyways I were, I'm not going to go more but then I can go over here under cover image actually I have an image I'm just going to go here I'm going to choose the file and I'm going to go in here I believe I have syndication syndication no I don't where is that where is that maybe it's under courses do I have courses I forget where I put it but I have it courses your first Facebook ad no maybe I need to uh, anyways I'll go find it on the other page right over here I'm logged in as myself I'll go to my courses and then I can just search for syndication syndication there's octo content but there's also there it is right here fastest syndication process I'm just going to take this image here and I'm going to actually load this in new incognito in new yeah sure new, new over here oh it's going to load up the that's not what I want I want the image the image open image in new tab there you go so this side don't I just want this without a size there we go so save image as let's save that actually I'm going to create that in here I'm going to create under courses because that's where it should be right so I'm going to create a new folder here I'm going to call it fastest syndication method and then this will be the thumbnail well let's just call it fastest syndication method I'll just call it this now then I can use that image of over here and here I just uh, select the image where I was a second ago under courses under courses and right over here I got the image okay so that'd be my thumbnail now I'll just click on next and then I have that here now I want to make this uh, do I want to sell this course or not I'm going to just give you the price right there five hundred dollars right I'm going to give everybody 90 percent commission why not right and uh, under next I'm going to give I'm going to make this accessible unlisted just so that we can see it 
and then that's it so now I have the course created and I just have to create the lessons I just click on the plus and I got to go find the YouTube videos let me see do I so did I upload those to search for syndication syndication no I probably did not make those let's see if I go over to do, 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 do. Uh, I have the course here right where's my where's my clicky course it's actually right here isn't it yeah there you go so I have all these videos right here I probably should have uh, put them on YouTube so I could show you how to uh, make it so let's just mm, what's the best way I can show you this so like I said the, the the thing is that once you have so to create a course no matter where you create the course you need to have the title and the some summary or description of it right and then you need to have the videos if it's a video course that's what it is it's just a, f a few videos that you create right so we have these videos I didn't uh, think of posting them on to uh, my uh, course let me just see can I, I wonder if I can see can I see this what this is the video file was this but it doesn't show me mm, yeah yeah it's a video file I uploaded I, I don't want I obviously I can't download it and show you and I should have probably made sure I had that already on YouTube for you to show you that but let me see maybe a tick tick tock I know I have some videos about tick tock on here tick tock tick tock show all so I got a lot of these course income then there's TikTok tips so I, all these short videos I'm just going to use one of these right get shareable link and I'm going to post that in here so obviously this is not the right video but it's a video that's on YouTube I just put the link here and I say save right so now that adds this video to this course on the platform so that's now it's TikTok recording tip right so if I go I add another lesson I can add another one let's do this one get shareable link here so it's as simple as this right I just do this I add the lesson go to the next one then I you know, after it's saved I add another one like this then I go and add another one so whatever number of course of lessons you have you just add them one by one add, add a new lesson like this and that's that's as simple as that you just do that for each of the lessons you want in your course and then once you're done you go to the you can go to the course you can see these lessons are here right so these are all here the and and as you add them they become they're they just become added and that's as simple as that you can publish the lessons make sure so before you publish them you want to make sure the description's right the title's right all those things because when you publish it that's when people can access the course so this of course it's 500 dollars and it's a course that I just created in a few minutes right so that's it now the course is available I can actually share the, this course to people I just send them the link that's up here and that's it right okay so now what about other platforms why do I say it's easy on Click eCourse looks take a look so over here I've got I did a search right I did a search for the top 15 Click eCourse not in the list yet because it's a brand new site hopefully I'll get it uh, uh, in these lists at event uh, soon but like for example we got thinkific you know there's teachable uh, <coughs> click four course that's interesting I wonder what that is <laughs> click four course oh uh, yeah look at that that's a new one click click e course there's just an e instead of a four right that's pretty cool I'll have to take a look at that side but anyways if I go to teachable I'm just kind of going in here trying to create a course on teachable right okay so I've got this I've created a uh, the curriculum which it forces me to create a curriculum I don't even know how to how to add videos in here I'm like well okay so I can edit this I can change this title I can add new lectures in each of these I, I don't know what these are I can edit the title of them you know lecture one lecture one right and then over here I can say lecture two and then I'm like okay well how do I how do I add videos in here so add curriculum add a price publish add information it just says draft uh, how do I make free preview publish okay so that's published 
so now how do I duplicate make downloadable make free preview do I click it okay so I click it now I now I go here and I have to add a file add a file okay add a file what is that drop video audio pdf okay click on it so a link can I put a link let's see what happens when I put a link let's take one of these go back to here and then uh, okay upload so I put a link to a YouTube video now it's great that I can upload a file a video from my computer but what if I already have the video on YouTube why would I need to upload it again that's one thing that's so that's on that's unteachable right so I'm like okay uh so it's not even showing me anything here uh, what's the text I can put text I guess this this is the lesson one uh, text this is lesson one okay but so it didn't even let me it didn't even put the allow comments okay great on clicky course that's automatic we might want to maybe we want to add a feature on clicky course to like this disable comments make them not make them not automatic but for now it's on um, click of course it's automatic okay add code example and that's a good idea add text add quiz so I got quiz I we we have quizzes answer choice so question what is your favorite what uh what is your age whatever answer choice less so too young too old not old enough okay so add question too young too old not old enough okay so I got a quiz now code example I can put code example in here I can say html hello is equal to you are great print yeah. there code add code sample okay oops I want to edit I want to change that that's I made a mistake so save that there you go well, that's kind of cool I like the code example thing but like I said it's like okay so how do I get this course created you saw how how it took me just a few seconds on click eCourse right not even a, not even five minutes and uh, but now I'm still struggling to figure out there's so much stuff right I mean it's great there's a lot of stuff but the th and and on click eCourse there is a lot of stuff to to be fair but the basics is just create a video course right that's how, that's why I wanted to create the site so that's why so anyways I'm not I'm not even sure how to end so pricing changes or believe no cancel how do I work? so new preview how do I save the publish oh, okay so now I've got my courses published visible in your school on our course directory okay so dashboard uh, where is it so, I mean you got a lot of help here and stuff but it's still I'm like oh, oh there it is fastest indication methods right there so that's the course the sales page as a visitor and course curriculum as a student okay well that's kind of cool I like that um content uh, uh, author seo branding okay so like it like you can see there's a bunch of stuff and I'm not even sure how to go in there and add I want to just a course with five videos in it right how do I do something simple like that on here I'm not really sure okay so that's that's teachables uh teachable let's go to say uh this is um thinkific right on thinkific I was trying to do this similar here but then it's um I started the course a little bit here I got the bulk settings 
so I'm trying to create a video so let's just say select the video file I can't again I can't just put a link to YouTube I don't know why it's kind of weird that you wouldn't be able to do that but why, why do they so they want you to upload right and which I guess has a benefit to it drag and drop video or select file right so you got to upload a video again you can't and and that's okay right if if you want to do that on clicky course you can uh you can upload videos directly to the to the site as well uh if you want for example if you say for example you don't want people to see the YouTube uh the YouTube thing but if you're an affiliate marketer you might want extra views on your channel right and that's one of the ways to do it if you have everything embedded then anytime anybody plays anything on your channel they'll do you add extra views to your channel and, <laughs> and the other thing too is that if you're a marketer and you're trying to build your uh, YouTube channel then you don't it doesn't bother you that people can click the video and go to your channel and, and view it there right because that allows them to see your the rest of your channel they can actually go and look at other things and you know find out what else you're about and all these things right <laughs> so you want that uh but uh but if you're wanting a private course where you have to uh, where they they can't download the videos and things like that where that's kind of sort of protected right because as you know if you have a video in a browser there's always a way to save it but you've got to be a little technical sometimes but if you want a, a little bit of protection you can on all the sites that do this uh clicky course is no different right you can you can upload the video instead of having a youtube link um on the, on clicky course by the way you can have a youtube link a facebook link or a vimeo link and there might be other links that would work but right now we support those three and that means you can put a public Facebook video a video that's a public video that you posted to a page you can put that link to that and that becomes embedded in your in your video as well if you can do that and on Vimeo is the same thing if you have a video that's public that you've got a public link to it uh just like you have a link to a YouTube you can use that right so you can use those three to host your video files okay so over here I'm still kind of thinking okay so how do I so I got this this is a lesson I want to add a lesson okay a video lesson okay so now I have another lesson okay so now what I want to add a chapter so on clicky course we call those modules but those are by default by default clicky course is um just videos but if you set it up as a uh, module module based course which I'll show you in a second it by default it automatically creates one module per video that you have already uploaded but you can also create um, a module with two videos in it you can add text you can add the quiz things like that that's all possible on clicky course as well but like I said the default is just to create videos right that's just that's as basic as that so over here we have an untitled chapter I'm going to change this to um to uh, set up account right save that and then I want to say set new lessons to draft by I don't know what that means oh right it must be so that you don't publish right away okay you can customize the course completion experience so add a lesson here I want to have a video see they have all sorts of different types of things I guess pdf audio multimedia downloadable brilliant exam there's lots of cool stuff for sure a live they even have a live in there that's cool uh quiz video okay so let's just do video because that's what I, we're talking about but like I said again I can't actually um I can't actually create a video here right so I can't up use a YouTube video right it's it's got to be yeah it's got to be a video on your you know, on your computer that you upload let me just hold on here all right so now let's take a look at another platform again like I said this is lots of stuff you can do on uh on Thinkific I'm sure there's like, like I said there's a ton of platforms but as far as when I looked at all the platforms they all seem to be complicated to create a course they all want all these crazy things and this is the same thing on um on my lead system pros um business center that I use uh, I mean I use I pay for it so it, I have it but I haven't really uh, I created one course on it I'm just trying to see I'm trying to remember how you create a course okay so my courses um let me see how do I add a course my courses see it's like switch no 
asset manager business center checkout member okay maybe it's under asset manager courses there you go courses okay so over here I want to add a new course okay well that seems simple enough I want to call it the fastest syndication method course stub okay great add a new course so this one is uh, okay so publish check this box to publish the course okay well I don't want to publish it yet access type all membership accounts okay it's course name fastest course stub course description uh, let's go back to here and I'm actually gonna back to the course I'm actually going to use this here whoops this is actually the course description I have let's go over to here put that in here okay banner text background color well it's kind of cool to have all these different things uh syndication engine I have no idea what that's for of course banner setting okay current image choose an image okay uh I'm going to upload the same image we have here right under courses over here this image okay so now it's going to upload that image and let's just save this uh the course settings okay so this is the course settings so that's not too bad now what do I do I want to add a lesson to it course settings course builder okay so now I have to add a module module so introduction add the module okay uh, add a new lesson okay I want to add a lesson I want to put it in here and I'm going to say introduction add the lesson now what do I want to do with the lesson I want to edit what's this edit lesson content okay add lesson content uh, what is it it's going to be a video okay video uh, and then I got to put a link okay well that's uh that allows me to do this so let's just go over here take this link go back to here put that here and I do that okay so now I have a video uh, this is a video course this is a lesson okay that's not you know not too bad it's actually better than I find in the other ones <coughs> but it still like forces me to create <coughs> these like containers within containers and it's it's great because it, you can make it complex and it looks nice but you have to create a module for every single one of your videos at the very least unless you create one module and put everything in it but that probably defeats the purpose of the structure of modules right okay so now let me show you on Click eCourse how uh you go about um how you go about to um to 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 do to, 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 to hold on how, how we go about oh yeah right in Click eCourse oh, that's, that's that's what I was thinking about so if I go to Click eCourse um here right I want to make this into modules I can actually make all this into modules actually I can't do it in the free account so let's upgrade me this is what's my user here my user is uh, let's go here actually let's just uh, yeah take a look at all right so I went and I upgraded the account the the Bob webinar account so that it could go into module mode so as you can see right here now there's a switch to module mode that's shown up so when I do that because the course was created without the module mechanism then it'll automatically create a module for each of the videos and put each of the videos in the module so it'll be module one two three four right so I just click on this and it gives me these new modules right or maybe oh you know what maybe I didn't oh maybe that's a version that I'm working on sorry it's not there but let's just go that I'm just going to show you how to create a module so you click on new module uh this calls it introduction uh and then this is intro to course and I'm going to say uh add new item 
and this item is going to be intro video video intro and then I'm going to say item select it's a lesson video so it's going to be this one I'm going to just select this one and there you go so now I have this close module edit if I look at this now I have the intro video in here and it's got the video that's going to automatically play just like so then I if I if I and then I can add another module right I can add another module this will be module two this will be um module let's call this uh well, I don't even know what the so next step right so next step to course so whatever the whatever the module is right add a new item I want this to be a lesson video as well whoops shows I didn't make this so cool. uh let's see so lesson lesson one I'm gonna have to go and and do this module thing I thought it was done but I guess I I haven't committed that yet to production uh test test module so now the thing about the module is that you can go back and forth between the module view and just the video view right with the module view I can go here I'm going to say lesson lesson two test lesson video and it's going to be this one and then there you go close module edit okay so now I have two I have this one right which is the video here which is the link recording and hold right whoops I don't want to go to YouTube um, there you go and then I have the other one whoops right over here which is this other one right recording options so that's kind of how you create the modules and if I want to switch back to uh, to lesson view mode I just click on this and it goes back to the view of just the lessons um but like I said you you probably don't want to create the modules unless unless you want a complicated thing with the modules you can do other things like for example if I go back to here I got this module I'm going to create another module it's going to be files more details whoops details I can actually create uh, a module details to follow up with whatever right it's just a summary I can add an item here I can say this is going to be uh, your quiz quit let's just say quiz quiz one quiz and I'm going to say it's a quiz so this can be a quiz so create a new quiz and it's going to be quiz one this whoops doo -doo -doo. this is quiz one there you go and uh, now that's this and then close the module edit module three the quiz and there's the quiz so you have not taken this quiz yes retake the quiz so you can add quizzes which uh, lets you create a bunch of questions I'm not going to go into that too much because it's a, an advanced topic anyways but once you have your course with a bunch of modules like this they'll just show up like this and you can have them all you can mark this as done right here this is done this is done your students that go through them you can mark them as done as they do them and uh yeah so that's that's what I mean when I say that it's easier to create a course hunt clicky course than other platforms like I showed you the teachable and the thinker thinkific and the uh, MLSP business center all of those have more complicated stuff like this right this this stuff here that I'm showing you right now is the complicated stuff which you can do with click eCourse but with those sites you have to go through the complicated stuff you can't make a simple video course there might be ways that I don't know about but for me I want to go in the platform and just just create the course I don't want to have to learn all these different things to go through I mean I noticed some of them have bulk, bulk uploads and things like that I don't know um to me that's that's extra stuff to learn right so that's what I mean when I say a simple platform to create your video courses all right so if you have any questions of course feel free to comment below the video below the blog post let me know your comments on this your questions and we'll help you uh, through them we'll answer those and uh, we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.